Hey, hey guys, thanks for joining me. So I'm going to show you real time how I took a picture I found on Pinterest, placed it into a word processing document and printed it out onto freezer paper to later be transferred onto a rock that I'm going to paint and embellish um, and sort of just change the picture around to make it my own. Um, but to get a nice base image for a rock painting, this is all you need to do. So I went into Pinterest and I really like this artist named Molly Brett. So I typed Molly Brett and I had found some uh, bunny pictures. So I thought, wow, it's going to be Easter soon. So let me print out a picture of some bunnies. And there was this really cute picture of these bunnies at the beach, a little family. So what I did, as you can see, there are a lot of pictures to choose from. If you go on Pinterest, there's a lot of cute little pictures of animals and whatnot. You can pick any one of these that you like um, and transfer it onto a rock using this method. So here we go. I chose the, bu the bunnies at the beach. I thought it was a cute little uh, springtime picture. So here it is. I clicked on it and then it brings it up bigger at the top of the screen. So I left clicked with my mouse on the picture I chose and then I right clicked on the picture in the bigger form at the top of the page and I went down to copy image right here. If you could see it highlighted with my cursor, right? And then I right clicked on that. Now I have it copied. It's just like hitting control plus the C button to copy and I have a word processing document open over here and I have it set up in landscape um, which you can just change the layout up here I don't know if you can see my printer commands that would be helpful and I right clicked in my document and I hit paste and my picture is there so now I'm going to resize it um, to fit my rock and you do that by just clicking on the picture with your left clicker button on your mouse and as you can see you get an outline around the uh, picture that you chose and you can pull on the corner and make it bigger or smaller I don't want it this big, but I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And because in the word processing document, if you're printing on a piece of paper that's 8 by 10, it's pretty true to size. So I'm just going to hold my rock up to it. And as you can see, it covers pretty much the whole thing. So I want to get a nice transfer pretty much fill the rock up okay so you just hold it up to see how big it should be all right now I'm going to go up to my picture commands and I'm going into format up here I hope you can see it and I'm just going to change the contrast because I want it to be a little bit darker so I went into contrast and I'm going into about 40% contrast. I don't want it to be this bright. So I'll move it down to about 10% brightness. And there you have it. Now I have my paper set up in my printer and I'm going to print this out and that'll be the next video where, where you'll see it come out. Um, if you check on this blog post or wherever you're finding this, there should be links in wherever you find this tutorial uh, within the description box or below these instructions or somewhere on the page on how to make freezer paper sheets for your computer uh, printer to be printed out in a regular inkjet printer. Um, I'll link those videos or blog posts in that in the description box or on the page somewhere 
it should be completely um, labeled so that you'll be able to find it pretty easily. Uh, it's very easy to do. I explain it all. And I'm just going to print this now. I'm just going to go up to my print commands on my computer, hit print, or get my print command. I hit print. And I'm going to go into properties here. And I'm going to set up my page. I'm going to keep it on standard under the commonly used settings. Down here, I'm going to keep all this the same. Media type, I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use glossy paper. Glossy paper setting. So that's under photo papers. And down here I'm going to select glossy photo paper. It says it's not available, but it is. And as you can see over here, it switched it to glossy paper because my freezer paper, I'm going to be printing on the shiny side of my freezer paper. And over here I'm going to select print quality as high. And then over here, I'm going to select under the paper source, I'm going to select rear tray. I have my paper set up in my printer, which is out in the hallway. And I'm just going to click OK and send it off to my printer. All right. And when I pick it up, I'm going to wait for it to dry. And then I'm going to show you the next step in the next video, which will be part two. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please hit like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Take care.